Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors and I'm just taking the opportunity here to show you guys a really cool video. So one of the things that we do obviously with Success Motors is uh, we sell cars, but also, uh, man, I'm a car guy and I really enjoy nice cars and I'm hoping to start uh, doing more videos like this, creating content with just epic cars, this being the first one, but and hopefully we'll be doing some other really neat cars. Now, but this car right here, the, the video that I posted uh, a few weeks back got a lot of likes and a lot of views and a lot of comments and traffic. So I think a lot of people had more um, questions about this car. So I wanted to film another video and this is not gonna be like a typical video where we usually do where I go and I show you all the flaws and whatnot. This is just gonna highlight uh, the 2021 Ford Mustang, uh, what, I have, what I have thought of it after driving it for the last month, uh, as well as the modifications done to this car specifically, so that if you're interested in maybe doing any of the, any of the things that have been done to this car, maybe it'll help you with your own build. So this video is, is not detailing all the flaws and imperfections and whatnot. And yes, this car technically is for sale, although I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna sell it. In fact, I've already had several people reach out trying to buy it. And um, I've basically just turned them down because I think I'm gonna keep it. My wife loves it, I love it, my children love it. And it's just an absolutely epic, epic car. But if you are in the market for a 2021 Ford Mustang, or um, I guess even up until 2022, 2023, I think the car was relatively unchanged man, this review will be, will be good for you. Um, and if you're interested in modifying your own Mustang and maybe doing some of the things that have been done to this car, hopefully I can shed some light on it. I'll try not to take forever, but try to show you um, this car in a lot of different ways. But here we are, we're on the, it's a beautiful morning in Texas. I am on uh, Texas A&M campus. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Texas A&M. It's actually, it's a beautiful campus. And right there, you can see the academic buildings, one of the oldest buildings on campus. Pretty cool. Welcome to Aggieland, uh, water tower right there. There's the clock tower. It's a really beautiful, beautiful campus uh, and a beautiful day to talk about a Ford Mustang. But anyway, let me get into the modifications that have been done to this car and then we'll get after it. Um, and I'll just talk more about the, the review and, and all that in, in, in a minute. So anyway, this is a, a beautiful car. Uh, this is a 2021 Ford Mustang a GT. It's got the performance pack. I'll show you the window sticker here in just a minute and I'll show you inside. Um, but some of the modifications that have been done to it that I'm aware of, so I've learned a lot about this car since the last video, is so it's got the SVE forged wheels. This is a kit you can buy. At least I've gone to SVE's website and it comes with a kit. It's a set of, uh, they are staggered, so they're larger in the rear than they are in the front, uh, but it's the SVE bronze finished, uh, I believe they're forged wheel wrapped in a Nitto NT555G2 tire. And these wheels are, in my opinion, beautiful, especially on this color car but they're really nice, well-finished wheel. They feel good. And then these Nittos are super sticky. This is a size 285, 35, uh, 19 here in the front. And then in the rear, it's a little bit wider. Let's see, we're running a, I believe it's a 305, 35, 19 in the rear. So one of the modifications you can see you know, just from the visual is these bronze wheels really like them. Now, another thing the car has, I've, I've had it up on a rack and the car I believe has been lowered. Now, some of you Ford Mustang enthusiasts might know more about this 2021 than I do, but it has a red spring on the inside, which I, I had it at the Ford dealership and they told me that was an aftermarket spring. So I believe it's got an aftermarket spring um, that it seems to be, uh, they told me thicker, um, I guess for more aggressive driving, which a good, again, could be part of the performance package, uh, but it appears to have been lowered over a stock Mustang GT. I can't speak exactly to uh, what has been done there. Also, you can see here on the front splitter, uh, it appears to have an aftermarket front splitter, not sure. So I don't believe this is actually a Roush bumper. I think I said that in my last video. I don't believe it's a Roush bumper. In fact, I believe it's a factory bumper, but it's had the mesh or the, the typical thing cut out right there to make room for that inner cooler. Uh, and then it's got a big air dam or front splitter, um, a little bit larger than factory, you can see uh, right there. And that just gives the car a real beautiful 
um, aggressive stance from the front, kind of Shelby, Shelby-esque. But the real bread and butter of this car is this has, so I contacted ESS to figure out what supercharger this is. And this is the ESS G3X centrifugal supercharger. And the reason it's an X is it has a different inter, uh, what do they call it, impeller or whatever the fan is in there rotating, it's a more aggressive. Anyway, so it's the ESS G3X supercharger. And also we've got the, I didn't know what this was before, now I do. It's a four innovations return fuel pump system. I believe this to be their dual pump system. So it's got the four innovations uh, return fuel pump system, which my understanding going through the rabbit hole of research is that's the way to do it with these high powered cars because it is basically the, the car has access to fuel all the time. So they compared it, one of these things I saw compared it to like, like your cardiovascular system. You've got blood pumping all the time. Basically, so whenever your brain asks for it somewhere, it's there to be delivered. And a car without the fuel system like this, my understanding is it's the computer has to ask for fuel and it gets sent to the engine. Whereas this always just with the four system, it just has fuel circulating all the time. So whenever the motor needs fuel, it's got it immediately on tap. Again, some of you might know more about that than I do, but that's my understanding of it so far at a surface level. So if when a car, when the supercharger and the car asks for uh, more, more fuel, then it's able to deliver it. It also has the UPR oil catch cam, that's what that is, UPR oil catch cam. And then kind of neat, it's hard to see right here. In fact, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to show you. Uh, I also discovered it has the FIC 1000 CC injectors. Again, I believe it's uh, CC is the measurement there, but it's hard, to it's hard to show you that. But it's got FIC 1000 size injectors. So I think on the last video I had said this car probably makes in the ballpark of like 700 horsepower. Man, I didn't do the tuning on this car. I contacted the previous owner. I tried to figure out um, exactly what's been done to it. So it depends on the tuning, but I have gone down the rabbit hole of it is possible with those injectors, the fuel system, the supercharger, this car could be more like 800 to 900 horsepower. The ESS can make upwards of a thousand horsepower. So I'd have to have it dyno tuned and, or dyno to figure out exactly how much horsepower it has. Uh, but it definitely has a ton of power. It's the fastest car I've ever driven. It's so insanely powerful. Also for you Mustang folks, um, I believe these do not come with the struts, which is interesting. So the previous owner has up upgraded this with a Roush a Roush strut so that you can put the hood up uh, like it is, which is epic. What else? This car also has, so this car is, uh, I believe it has Cook's long tube headers and it is uh, no cats. And then I believe it has the, ex the stock exhaust, uh, you know, basically where the cats would be back, but it does have a H pipe, Cook's long tube headers and no cats. So it sounds incredible. So if you're interested in buying a, a Mustang and doing some of these things to it yourself, man, I couldn't speak highly, more highly of these wheels, this setup, the ESS supercharger. By the way, super easy to maintain. Many, many of you guys probably already know this, but uh, there is oil in the supercharger and that's a dipstick, but also uh, where you can pull oil out and put uh, the fresh oil in. So. Uh, pretty easy to maintain. I've seen a lot of reviews, really highly reviewed uh, supercharger. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me just show you this car's window sticker. Oh, by the way, what else? The, this car does have the PPF film on the hood, on the front here, up the A pillars and on the mirrors, which I think is epic. So that's the PPF film uh, to prevent uh, any rock chips from happening. But all right, let me show you the window sticker. So on my last video, I mentioned this car cost somebody probably $85,000 and I got a little pushback on that, but let me show you why I believe that to be so. So you can see this is a 2021 Ford Mustang. Of course, it has a 10 speed transmission. Also worth noting the twister orange color they only made this in two years, 2020, I believe, in 2021. They don't make it anymore, so it's a pretty unique color. Um, this one has the equipment group 401A, 
and then you can see there twister orange 10 speed auto this one has the magna ride damping system gt performance pack it also has active valve exhaust which is one of my favorite things ricardo leather seats uh, it's got a cd player and then it's got the bose or no bno sound system with 12 speakers but check it out the window sticker the price the original price on this car was fifty seven thousand eight hundred and five dollars all right and what's interesting now is if you go build that car in 2024 with if you build out this exact same car in 2024 uh, it's actually $67,000. So there's been a bit of a price increase. Uh, but this car was $57,000. And then best I can tell is that wheel and tire setup is... Best I can tell is that wheel and tire setup is about ten grand, $10,500. Uh, the supercharger itself, not counting installation, is around $9,000. Um, the the um, Ford Innovations fuel system, fuel pump is like $2,200. And then you've got the installation of all those things. You've got the oil catch cam. Um, you've got the exhaust work done to it. My best guess is this car has had about $30,000 worth of modifications done to it. I don't think you can argue that between just the parts cost and the labor cost. And then you add that to the MSRP of this car, which was 57,000, and you're at an $87,000 Ford Mustang, which is pretty insane to me. Uh, but also, there's not many cars, at least in College Station, that could beat this car uh, in a race. This car is, is pretty epic. But, all right, let me also kind of just switch gears to um, just the Mustang uh, in general. This Mustang has been really impressive to me. Uh, the fit, finish, and overall quality of it has been just more impressive than I would have expected. You know, you've got these really unique, um, you might be able to see it's kind of backlit in there and you can set the color, whatever color you want, but I've got it set to orange. So at nighttime, it's all lit up orange underneath the, where your feet go and everywhere there are lights, which is pretty, um, pretty spread out throughout the car. You've got a lot of soft touch material. Some are hard, that's like a plastic, but like a leather here, leather, leather. It's a, it's a soft touch material right here. Just a really nice, finish and then i love how it says mustang here and this is backlit orange also uh, which looks beautiful at night and even right now and then these recaro seats now i'll be the first to tell you these are not comfortable for a long drive but if you're driving this car for you know 30 minute track sessions or just driving it around town it works just fine and these are the leather trimmed recaros so they're really soft nice leather very soft it says recaro um, and they're cool seats though and then we've got the carbon fiber um, look anyway I don't think there's a real carbon fiber in fact it might even be more of a metal but kind of an interesting finish right there and this is aftermarket somebody uh, the previous owner put the Coyote GT 5.0 uh, there and but that's just cool I like that you can modify uh, the Mustang in, in that capacity but very nice uh, this one's got the 3d branded floor mats which those are become my favorite floor mats I like how they look and how they fit in the car you can see the soft touch everywhere Glove box, this car has the original owner's manual and all that in there, but just really nice interior, overall fit and finish of this car is wonderful. You got the oil pressure and you got the vacuum gauge there. You can see B&O sound system, does have a nice, does have a nice uh, stereo or screen. And then check it out, we've got those toggle switches look pretty epic. You can control the, the, the mode that you're in. It's push button start, of course. And of course, this car uh, is automatic. Now I will say, if you're buying one of these Mustangs with the intent of sitting in the back, you cannot sit back there if you're a reasonable size adult. Your head just hits the window. So uh, this is pretty much only for, for, uh, for kiddos. In fact, there's even little doodads back there for their car seat. So you can pretty much only put a kid back there. Definitely not room for any adults let me come around here in fact i'll start it up what's interesting here i'll start this up and let's see what it sounds like from back here well hold on it might not start because the hood's open let me close the hood but beautiful car guys i couldn't speak higher of this car, but again, I'm not sure I'm selling this car, so, but I couldn't speak higher of a Ford Mustang with these modifications. So it defaults 
to quiet mode. So let me come inside. The car, the car defaults to uh, defaults to quiet mode. So that wasn't that lo loud of a startup. But I actually I don't mind that it defaults in quiet mode. Uh, although I would say it would be cool if you could program it. And if you know how to, let me know. It'd be cool if you could program it to default into loud mode. Because sometimes you want to start up and let people know. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's just in, it's, it defaults to quiet mode. But it does have the ability, if you push this little pony button here, to change the exhaust mode. So it's on quiet right now. And you can go to sport, which is epic, and then track. Uh, what I like about it is you can make noise without having to change the the mode that the car is actually in. Like right now, it's just in normal mode. But if you put it in sport mode, um, you can keep it in normal mode, but then change the exhaust tone. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then you could, but you could then put it in sport mode if you want to drive, you know, more aggressively or whatnot in track mode. But you can put it in track exhaust but keep the car in normal mode. And the reason that you would want to do that is this car specifically with having, who knows, seven, eight, 900 horsepower. If you put it in track mode, it takes off the traction control and this car will straight up try to kill you. If you put the, the, the gas pedal down at 50 miles an hour, even like remotely depressing the gas, uh, the, the gas pedal hard, uh, it will break the rear tires loose. This car is crazy fast, crazy, crazy fast. So sometimes I like to put it in track mode for the exhaust but leave the car itself in like a normal mode but anyway got all kinds of options right now i've got a default setting where i'm looking at the cylinder head temp and the air fuel ratio and the inlet air uh just kind of cool uh but you'll notice there's a little toggle switch right here that you would put the car into different modes so right now if i put it into sport mode kind of cool it changes the display uh which to me that's pretty epic so it changes the the appearance of the display and the tachometer uh, very cool. You can see this car only has about 7,200 miles on it. Um, but what else? Push button start, traction control. You can adjust the, um, the, the, I guess, how the steering wheel feels with this little toggle switch right here. Um, the sync, this, uh, probably sync three, could be sync four uh, in this car. It's, it's good. It's really you know, pretty quick. Got navigation, audio. Um, you know, it's got a good sound system. It's got a little bit of bass to it. It's, it's an intuitive system. I don't mind it at all. In fact, I kind of like it. Um, automatic transmission, of course, this feels really good in your hand. It's a nice leather and you just push that down and you can change the gears and whatnot. But anywho, guys, this car uh, is awesome. If you're in the market for a 2021 Ford Mustang, again, not this car, cause I don't think I'm going to sell this car. I don't think you could go wrong with a 2021 Ford Mustang. It's a nice, it's a nice car. It really is a nice car. Um, a couple of the complaints is you see them everywhere. Um, so I don't like that, but I like the fact if you're going to get one, you can get one that's kind of unique like this one. It's, it's orange. They only made it for two years, so I might see 10 Mustangs today, but you won't see another orange one, so that's kind of cool. But, man, I couldn't speak higher of the Ford Mustang, and I couldn't speak higher of the ESS Supercharger, uh, the four uh, fuel system, the, the catch can, the wheels, everything that's been done to this car. So if you have one, and you're thinking about doing some of these modifications, I would encourage you to do it because, shoot, they're awesome. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this parking garage and I'm gonna pick the video up here in a second, driving the car, so you can get an idea for what it sounds like out on the open road. Well, that's sport mode. As you can see, I'm still in the parking garage, but I figured you guys are all car guys and gals. You might wanna hear this thing go to the parking garage for a second. All right, listen to this. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. I hope you heard that. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> this car is insane. This car, this car is insane. It's the best ca sounding car I've ever been around. This car is insane. Insane. We're in sport mode right now. Going through a parking garage, going the wrong way at the moment. But we'll go down here in a sec. Uh, 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 car 
is insane, guys. That's an epic car. And I know it's just a Mustang, right? They're they're everywhere. I know it's just a Mustang, but it makes you feel makes you feel special. It makes you feel special when you drive it. It's low, it's fast, it's orange, it's unique. Man, it gives off those vibes. You know, that's kind of part of the thing about a car is how does it make you feel? Car guys know, you know, and man, how does it make you feel from behind the wheel? This car, it makes you feel special. I know it's a weird thing to say, but you just know what I'm talking about. Like, you're just not driving a normal car. You're driving, you're driving something that can go fast. It's epic. It gives off the vibes. Now, I've never driven a Lamborghini or something like that. I have driven a Dodge Viper. Corvettes, other Mustangs. I've never driven a car that's, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars like a Lamborghini, but I imagine it makes you pretty feel pretty special as well. As I mentioned, coming through here, I've seen two other Mustangs. One was red, one was blue. You're just not going to see another orange Mustang. Here comes another one, another Mustang. It's a black V6. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm gonna have to pay to get out of the parking garage, so forgive me if it's kind of awkward here as I fumble through trying to pay this thing while feel, filming with the GoPro. Let's see here. In fact, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. All right, pulling out of the garage, sorry, I had to pay. I'm gonna try not to run, in, run into any college kids or get run into by any college kids. Again, if you've never been on, if you've never been on campus at Texas A&M, it's very pretty. I just pulled out of that parking garage and there's Kyle Field, which is pretty epic. Uh, Kyle Field really is beautiful. And this is a beautiful campus if you've never been. We just got done beating LSU last week, which was, pretty good game sorry to all of you LSU Tiger fans out there cars crazy uh, we're gonna pull out here go to the right I'll get on the gas, maybe talk for a few few more minutes, and then we'll hop out of here. Man, leave some comments if you got anything thing interesting to say or anything to add to the video. Leave a comment if there's any type of car you want to see us do a video like this with, or if you want to see me do anything different in the video like this. I've got a goal and a vision for the YouTube channel, and I'm just trying to make it happen. One of the things I like about this video and the style of videos we typically do is they're, um, you know, non not really as edited, they're more relaxed. Something I'd like to watch. Unfortunately, I'm in this runner's way here. Oh, there we go. Waiting for the light. But let me know if there's anything you'd like to see different about this car, another video of this car, if you got any other questions about the mods done to this car. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's sport mode, what, 3,000 RPMs at the most. One of the crazy things about this car also is if you put it uh, in sport mode and do a hard launch, it, it, the traction control kicks in so aggressively because it just tries to spin the tires. So you cannot do a very quick zero to 60 in this car in sport mode because the around four or 5,000 RPMs when the car wants to just eat you, uh, the rear tires start to spin and the traction control cuts you out. So the only way to run a fast zero to 60 in this car is to do, uh, do it in, in track mode. And to do it in track mode requires massive kahunas uh, because again, she's just trying to rip those tires loose. She's 
just trying to break those tires loose the whole time. Very hard pulling car. awesome sounds epic one thing about this ESS supercharger also is you don't hear it that much you don't really hear a whine you hear a little bit of a whistle like a little bit of induction sound uh, but you don't really hear a lot of the supercharger whine with this car you just hear exhaust note so right now we also have a, a Dodge Durango Hellcat and it the exhaust is terrible on that car so it's not very loud uh, but you hear a ton of supercharger whine uh, with this ESS supercharger, you don't hear any, I mean, any whine. You hear some induction sounds, uh, but that's about it. Mostly what you're hearing is the exhaust note of this car. Going over some train tracks. Uh, we'll try to get on it one more time, and then I'll end the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. All right, sorry, I had to skip ahead. I got behind a school bus. All right, here we go. Gonna do a little bit of a launch here. Not crazy hard, because I'm driving with one hand and holding the GoPro with the other. I'm gonna work on getting a different mount for this. But anyway, give you opportunity to see somewhat what this car feels like, uh, as also what it sounds like. So here we go. This car is crazy. That's what a car should do, is it should make you feel happy when you drive it. So that was a lot of wheel spin. So you, you got to see it. That was a lot of wheel spin, a lot of the car kicking in, trying to stop that from happening. So it sounded super loud. It was pretty fast, but it, but it wasn't like crazy fast because of the traction control. But when it shifted down around 45 or something like that, Man, the tires were breaking loose. It was going a, you know, a little bit sideways and the traction control would kick in and stop that from happening. Uh, so absolutely insane. But anyway, insane car, guys. If you're looking for a Mustang, go buy a Mustang. They're awesome. Supercharge it. <laughs> do an H-pipe. Do long tube, tube headers. Uh, make it sound like this because you're going to not regret it. All right. God bless you guys. You have a good day.